immigration, as everyone in this state and everyone in this forum knows, is a, is, is a tough issue. Uh, there's, uh, even though there's been a few other states this past year that have gone down the immigration road, I, b I believe it's still fair to say that when you look at the different Arizona laws that have passed over the years, there's still no state in the country that uh, can compete with Arizona in terms of state-based immigration laws. And a lot of these laws are, uh, were, were based on the, on, on the fact that immigration is, is a serious issue for the state of Arizona. No, no one disputes that. Uh, unfortunately, it's our view that the only real way to, the only way that we could truly deal with this issue in a successful way will be at the federal level. And on the federal level, it's going to require uh, a number of different elements. Uh, for, first and foremost, and you will, you will hear this from a lot of business leaders, we need to secure the border. There, there's no argument there. Uh, there's, we, we believe, very strong uh, consensus on, on that point. But that's not enough. Uh, we also need to properly make sure we're verifying in, a, in an easy and an affordable way uh, the immigration status of, of those who apply for work. Uh, and in fact, there's a federal proposal pending that would require mandatory E-Verify. Now, along with that responsibility, we believe the companies that do go down that road uh, and, and use the, that system in good faith, that that should basically create a safe harbor where they would not be subject to prosecution or penalties at any level. If they've done everything they possibly can, it seems terribly unfair to subject them to uh, what could be errors in the program. Because we do know that, uh, that the E-Verify program, while it has been improving, uh, there's still some serious issues when it comes to identity theft and and uh, I'd say pr primarily that, 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 that area is still a weakness. But that's not enough. We desperately need a workable solution in terms of uh, a, a, just a complete overhaul of our visa programs. We know that even in this difficult economy, probably the worst economy this state has faced since the Great Depression, there are still a number of sectors of our economy where there's, there is a need for, uh, for, for, for labor uh, outside of our, of our borders. Agriculture being probably the most obvious. Uh, you know, even in this difficult economy, we may have missed it, we haven't seen, at this point, Phoenix emptying out and moving to places uh, you know, such as uh, uh, the, the lettuce capital of the world, uh, Yuma, to, to, to help uh, with those important and necessary jobs. We also know on the high, on the high tech end, uh, we have great companies in Arizona that would love to have the opportunity to, to hire uh, workers, uh, to, to, to hire people who come to study in our great schools in Arizona, NAU, University of Arizona, Arizona State University, who study in areas where we need workers uh, but are having a difficult time navigating the, the visa process. Uh, there have been a number of high-ranking officials, including our former governor, who have suggested that green cards should be stapled to, to, the, uh, to the diplomas of those who graduate, and in, 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 in certainly in the engineering fields and other fields where, there's a, where, where even in this tough economy, there's still a desperate need for labor. We support those proposals. Uh, immigration done right we believe is a huge net positive for the United States of America. We should all take a lot of pride as Arizonans and American citizens that the best and the brightest and the hardest workers from around the globe want to come to the Arizona, want to come to the United States and contribute to our society and to our economy. And it will be an economic catalyst if we could actually get the job done on the federal level and make this happen. Unfortunately, as I've said, our visa programs, our H-2A, our H-1B, our other visa programs are, uh, are, are, are not operating as they need to. And we also need to figure out a way to provide a path for those who did not enter the country uh, legally but are, but are working hard 
uh, we need to provide a path where they can remain in 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 the country, and that and that would require paying uh, paying penalties and taking other sorts of uh, actions. But you know, we we need to deal with all of the elements of of immigration. It's not rocket science. It's not terribly difficult to put together the whole package. Uh, but unfortunately, there's been a lack of success, despite some pretty serious and sometimes courageous efforts to get this done on the federal level. Uh, we would submit at this point in Arizona, we all need to work together to uh, help our federal delegation, to help educate members from other delegations on the importance of, of, of getting a, a, a uh, holistic solution uh, done. Uh, you, you asked about the economic impacts of, of some of these laws. It, from our vantage point, it hasn't been positive. We've got to remember, you know, tourism is one of our largest industries in the state. It employs somewhere in the neighborhood of 200,000 workers. Uh, our convention business has been hurt uh, pretty, pretty, pretty seriously, and and you know we we need to. We, we need to do everything we can to make sure that that uh, that the state is firing on all cylinders in in, in that area. Uh, we also know that there's somewhere between 25 to 30 thousand jobs in Arizona that are directly tied to uh, citizens from Mexico coming to Arizona, shopping in our stores, staying in our hotels. And, and just enjoying the, the great beauty of Arizona. We need to encourage that, that type of activity. And I, 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 we believe at the Arizona Chamber of Commerce and Industry, as the focus turns to the federal level, and uh, as opposed to some of the state level of activity, uh, we, will see, uh, we, we, we will see progress in terms of economic returns in, in those industries that have that have uh, that have suffered. There's been a lot of people who have been pretty vocal, and we've had we certainly have had a number of Arizona members, of both sides of the aisle, that have tried to tackle this issue. I, I, th th this issue hasn't hasn't failed on the federal level as a result of lack of trying on the Arizona delegation, and you know this is just a very difficult issue. It becomes a very emotional issue it's a politically charged issue and you know it, it, it's one that you know I hate to say this but I it, it's hard for me to see how this is resolved before the the next election cycle as someone who spent uh, some time in DC the place doesn't exactly move at at light speed so the types of forums that you're holding will be very helpful. These these big time issues often ta times take many years and a number of congresses to to settle. That's frustrating. It's frustrating for those who want to see reform, uh, but that's that's our that that's our system. Uh, we're just all going to have to continue to uh, to educate uh, people. To, to work as hard as we can together. And eventually, we're going to get there. Because our economy needs a workable immigration system. We know that our friends in the Euro European Union, our friends in Canada, are doing some pretty creative things when it comes to attracting uh, workers, particularly uh, higher tech workers. And for, for, for our economy to, to return to health, it would certainly be helpful for the economic health of this country, if we could figure out a, a, a way to, in a very workable, legal way, uh, attract the talent that wants to come to the United States to, to take jobs where, where there are gaps in the, in, in the labor force. Your types of forums on a, on a state by state basis are as helpful as any, any suggestion I, I can recommend. Uh, you know, we're, we're lucky in today's world uh, through through the internet, through YouTube, through other types of things. Uh, you know, what we're finding is that on the big ticket items, the electorate is is really more informed than than 
than it probably ever has been. And these types of forums, which I know you've done a very nice job of not only hosting, but, but making sure it gets out there electronically, are, are extremely important. We, we can have a dialogue, a civil dialogue, on this difficult issue and, and, and I believe find, find solutions. And so I, 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 I just say the, the more the merrier in terms of the ability for, for us to, to talk about these issues as well as for people to understand the, the, the business perspective. And again, I, I just appreciate the opportunity to, to appear via video for, for, for this important conference.